Hi everyone, Charmaine here and welcome to another video. Today is another Thursday, second week of the month where I serve up a journal with me video. This spread is inspired by Sky Bambi when she did a DIY garden video on her Instagram. I will put the link down below if you want to see that. She is super awesome and she has great ideas. I suggest you go and check her out as well. But of course, before anything else, may I invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. In this video, I will show you the process of how I recreated the DIY garden window by Sky Bambi. So let me begin this video by showing you a bunch of stuff that I used to make or recreate the garden window. Of course, you're gonna need your journal or your notebook. I'm using this leather journal called Nautical. This was gifted by the Vintage Stationery Store. If you want to go check them out, I'll put the link down below. I also have a discount code. Just type in Charmaine10 and you'll get 10% off of anything you buy from their website. So as you can see, the Nautical theme is in the details, but this one is actually a unique kind of journal because I never had one like this before. It is ring bound. So apart from the nautical details on the cover and on the charms, it also has some of these slots, which actually I wasn't able to figure out. So I asked help from my journal enthusiast friends from Davao, shout out to April and also to Cham for helping me figure out what exactly these pockets are for. So. I think it works this way. It's like a card slot and the card can go as you can see on the screen. Either way, I think it'll hold. So it's a pretty neat journal. It's very compact and it actually closes with this leather string that you can wrap around its body. It doesn't have the B-ring bounds. Kai Bambi actually just used a regular notebook. Next, I used a couple of old pages. The, these book pages were gifts from a pen pal and I have just accumulated them in this little bundle. And I also have these vintage gardening sheets, deco sheets that I got from Shopee. I'll put the link down below if you want to know where I got them. Now for the stars of the show, the stickers. I am using a bunch of butterfly stickers and I also have like a dragonfly sticker as well. You will also need plant stickers. I will put the links down below so you can check out the shops where I got this from. So you can get different stickers but these ones just were made for this little craft because these stickers are on a clear sheet. I think these are called PET stickers but these plasticky stickers will give you more depth when creating the layers compared to as you can see on screen right now. I also have a couple of stickers, the butterfly stickers that are printed on paper. If you don't have butterfly stickers, alternatively I have a free butterfly in frame printable. Just print those ones a couple of times and you'll be able to have lovely butterfly stickers for your garden window for free. All right, so that's enough sticker talk for now. Let's go to the next stuff you'll need. You will need a cutting mat. This one's a tiny one. And then of course your cutter. And I have a glue stick and a glue roller. And also I have a distress oxide. This was gifted by the lovely Gina of the Shabby Creek Cottage. The color I'm using is brushed corduroy. And that's pretty much it. Now it's time to get started. So because this is ring bound, I'd like to think my method is easier because I get to just take out a couple of pages from the journal and work on them. I think that's the perk of using a ring bound journal. But you can actually make the garden window even on a regular bound notebook sky bambi did it this way and if you want to see her method like the full video of it as i've said i have placed it in the description below 
As usual, I just winged it through the whole thing because there is no exact measurement for these things. But I'll walk you through the process of how I made mine. So I cut a couple of the gardening themed sheets to the same size of the journal page. So it doesn't have to be super exact. So what I did was just marked in the size of the sheet with a pencil because I wanted the title, the dictionary of gardening as the central feature of the page on the upper upper side so it's like a title or sort of sorts and i think that turned out pretty well in the end and then i used my paper trimmer to just cut it to size so i technically resized um just about two sheets of the vintage botanical deco sheet that you can see on screen and then one sheet from an old book page and the book page is actually so on point it was meant for this craft it is a page from a book i don't know the entire context but it is a poetic exchange between a lady named mary and a guy named harry like listen to mary's line the cold spring now is the time for the ache in the moving root the agony in the dark the slow flow throbbing the trunk the pain of the breaking bud anyway it's a bit kind of a dark depiction of spring but i like it it is so in theme with this garden window craft now that they're cut to size i decide what order the sheets will be in when i mount them on each other so i start with my topmost sheet and then for this one i just randomly scored something in the center that's the same thing that sky bambi did if you're using a regular notebook, you will have to slide the cutting mat underneath the page and work your way to cut out the hole on the sheet. So I slowly tried to tear the hole in my hand. So I just started out with a small oval shape because I was like, I can start with something small because if it's smaller i could just make it a bit bigger every time but if i started big i would have had a problem because you can take away from it but then you can't add anything onto it anyway i just drew in a guideline more or less how i wanted the shape to look like and i just continued to rip it from there and once i was happy with the shape I just put it on top of sheet number two, which in this case is the craft journal page. So I used my pencil to draw a light outline and then I just grabbed my cutter and scored a line at the center. And once again, I will be tearing up another round shape from that score line that I did. So I just ripped it up and mounted it on each other, checked it out every every single time until I got the sort of right kind of layering that I wanted. So you will want some of the craft sheet to peek out as well. So just repeat the whole process for all the sheets. Just remember the idea is to have a little bit of the lower layers peek out from the topmost part when you view it from the outer window you get a peek of everything of a little bit of each page so here is a hyperlapse of the process of me ripping up the hole for each page for the layers you are now viewing a hyperlapse version of my process actually this is the part that took the longest because i was trying to be really careful but it turned out great so i'm not complaining and now it's time to add distress oxide to the edges i honestly have a sort of like it's not really love hate relationship with this material just because i can't get the hang of it so i was quite apprehensive at first because i didn't really know how to use it but i tested on how it would look like on some of the pages that i ripped up and it turned out lovely so basically the point is to cover the fresh tears with the brushed corduroy color 
just so the pages will look a bit older and it will add to the vintage look of the layers and also I think defining the edges helps give you more of that depth in the window or in the layering itself. After a couple of trials, I actually started dabbing the product onto the edges and man oh man, I am actually seeing now why people love this product and I actually purchased a couple of these in Australia but destashed them because I didn't know how to use them. But this worked so well for this garden window page. So I dabbed it onto the inner edges and also to the outer edges of the sheets and of course i did this for all four sheets when that's done i put the pages together and this is how i did it so i want to mount the deco sheet onto the journal page so in order to do that i used the roller glue or the roller tape and i just ran it through the edges that will give me sealed off edges that I think are more secure than just using glue. Then because my journal is ring bound, I have holes. I just grabbed my glue stick and ran it through the one edge. And then I ran my glue stick around the hole of the first page. And I just slowly but surely tried to stick the top page onto the bottom page as seamless as possible i really needed steady hands for this and it took me a bit longer to get it to stick exactly the way i wanted to be and i had to be super careful because once it sticks onto the glue tape it will be super difficult to remove i might destroy the page i might tear the page when i do that but of course of course i was able to do it so this is the difficult part for me but the effort is always worth it so now i'm done with one page i just repeat it for page number two and it's so satisfying to see them layered up for the first time i just love how it turned out if you're using a regular notebook you can skip this part but since i'm using a ring bound one i needed to punch a hole through the new sheets one by one oh also don't forget to punch a hole for the back page the one with the poetic exchange between harry and mary or whatever back page that you are using then I went back to the sheets because I had to trim off some of the excess that I actually miscut at the beginning. If you were more careful about this, unlike me, you will not need to do this. And now we are done! So just layer them up and see how satisfying this garden window looks and it is now time for the fun part it's time to add in our butterfly and plant stickers and arrange them so my butterfly stickers come in frames so i didn't want to waste any of it so i just scored in and cut around the frame and cut the butterflies out i can easily reuse the frames in a different page or in a different craft then you will have to go back to the stickers and cut your butterflies to shape take out the excess plastic and basically you want to cut as close to the image as possible so there is no one way to do this there is no right way or wrong way to do this but i will give you a couple of tips on how i came up with mine so I forgot the term for this visual concept but you know when you do a painting where the foreground and the background are of a different shade or of a different color the foreground is much brighter and then the background is a bit lighter for example if you're drawing a landscape the trees in the front are the most prominent and then the farther things are 
the lighter it becomes so i sort of like employed that visual method onto the garden window so as you can see i put in the brighter colored butterflies in the front and the lighter ones at the back another tip is don't be afraid to go over and under so some of the butterflies like the butterfly wing is tucked in the second page but then it's lower wing and the rest of his body is overlapped onto the first one so overlap is always good because it brings a sense of dynamic quality to the page so it gives you more depth and the more depth you have on it the better it will look and the more visual pleasing your journal page will become so if you're wondering, I didn't peel any of the backing off. I just used a glue roller to stick them onto the sheet. You can use double-sided tape for this. If you don't have a glue roller, it will work exactly the same. If you've noticed also, I pre-arranged the whole thing before sticking anything on there. Just so I know which plant and which sticker goes where. And then I just go back to trim off any excess that I have that goes beyond the page. I know you'd think that we're done by now, but let's be a bit extra and add a bit of bling. I actually decided to add a bit of these jewel stickers. These are actually for, I think they're called bejewel or something like that, but they're for the mobile phone when you want to add accessory or accessorize your phone big shout out thank you to dayscape projects for the idea i will also put a link down below if you want to get one for yourself i think these jewel stickers added a subtle touch of class and another level of depth to the whole journal page or art piece that we came up with and i absolutely love how it turned out now we are finally done and it's time to put them together in the journal so i just open the ring binder and put them in the order that i planned they would be and look at how pretty it turned out isn't it super magical i think it is anyway guys thank you so much for making it through till the end of this video i super appreciate your presence especially this video is like one of the longest i've ever made but I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. Next week, every third Wednesday of the month, I will be putting up a paper craft tutorial. That is one of the most requested ones. So I hope to see you then. But for now, take care and keep safe. Bye.